guys welcome back to my channel as I'm doing all this month of July I start my videos with the announcement that starting August 1st my channel will change its name and all the images here on Facebook Instagram etc so this is the new name and this is the new image that you will, will see from August on so I don't want you to be surprised and I don't want you to think I'm not around anymore <laughs> and um, I have to thank my daughter because she's the one who made all the changes, the designs, everything. Okay, the challenge I'm participating in today is the monthly useful DIY challenge. It's hosted by Mom Does Life Handmade and Michelle's Cozy Home is her co-host this month. I'm going to leave a link to their channels in the description box. Please visit both channels. They are absolutely um, creative. Uh, Mamdas can take a cereal box and transform it into a high-end piece of art. Um, Michelle has so, so many beautiful, beautiful creations that you will get inspired from for sure. So please, please pay a visit. Uh, I will also leave the link to the playlist with all the videos included in this challenge. And the topic, the theme this, this time, this month is home. So to make something that you are going to keep for ourselves that is useful and has a purpose and, uh, and we are not going to give as a gift or something like that. We're going to keep for uh, to use it at our home. Okay, I have this basket from Dollar Tree and don't laugh at me. I keep all those um, kitchen towels that are too stained and really I can't get them clean anymore or maybe they are um, too old, the, the colors have faded in some cases, like in this one. I keep all of them to use them, for example, when I need to clean something on the counter or most of the time when I wash carrots, potatoes, so I dry them with this um, wash, old washcloths. So I am recycling, I'm not using paper, paper towels, and uh, I'm saving the, pl the planet. <laughs> but I wanted to decor it because now this doesn't look good. And my kitchen is farmhouse. So I have this cloth that is from Dollar Tree. It's the one that is, used, is supposed to be used to uh, make your car shine. And uh, you find it in the car stuff section a Dollar Tree. So first thing, you only need one. You place it in here. And the first and most important thing is to take the corners and let me show you glue them immediately. This is a very stretchy cloth or fabric so that's the only way that you're going to be able to cover um, the whole basket without any gaps. Otherwise, you know, if I do this and I don't glue it immediately, I have this gap here. So I have to stretch the fabric and glue both corners. Let me remove this. So, you see, I can stretch it and now I can glue it. So I have all the border covered. Well, it got unglued here because it's not dried already. 
yet not already I'm doing the same on the others <laughs> okay fail what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these safety pins to keep this in place let me do this so I can glue the other side without getting this angle let's do the things as they are supposed to be done so now again second take <laughs> I'm going to glue this side like so and I'm going to place a safety pin while I work on the rest of the decor like so, I need nothing else so I don't need to glue anything and I don't like to glue anything because maybe in the future I will like to change the decor or use the basket for something else so I try to glue as less as possible then I'm going to place this ribbon all around let me see if the front is going to be like let me choose the front okay let's say the other side is the front I'm going to just twirl a little bit of hot glue here I need another glue stick And I'm going to start adhering this buffalo check ribbon. Honestly, I think I bought it on eBay. I'm not sure. Yes, I think it's on eBay. So just a few drops. of hot glue here and there I hate when they sell you ribbon and they do this they say for example that you're buying nine feet and they glue they adhere a piece because maybe they don't have the whole nine feet and then you find out this when you are using because this isn't the end of uh, the spool so I hate that honestly I hate that but well it is what it is This is going to help keep those corners in place. I don't mind about this side because I'm going to place something here. Oops, oh, sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is to add this piece of nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I added, you know, I found out a 
few weeks ago or a month ago that I can use these strings from the mop from Dollar Tree just you know pushing pulling not pushing pulling and I get these pieces and they are great for a lot of things so what I did is I cut a piece of the, the rope to the size of the circumference the, the contour of the basket all the mops are not of the same color as you can see but well I found out it when I started doing this and there's nothing I can do about it so I don't worry about that so once I had the whole um, rope cut to the size I started adding these pieces and I left a little bit here to show you how to do this it's so easy so quickly so quick I like to see this kind of hoop here because the other side I don't think it looks like so 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 I, I don't know I, I like this side better <laughs> maybe you like this side better it's okay whatever you like but to get this look it's important to add the strings this way you make a loop and you place it under the rope you see I mean frame yes here under the rope and then you pass the strings through the loop like so and you pull and as you can see you get this loop here from the front side on the front side so again if you like how it looks on the, out the other side it's okay but I look this side better I think I need to do a couple more again under the rope and pull under the rope and pull a couple more again under the rope inside the loop and pull I think this is going to be enough let me try I will start adding the rope here I'm going to add it from in the front because I'm going to add a ribbon a uh, bow here so I'm going to start from the front like oh I'm I'm doing a, no this is a mistake I had to add the air this here okay let's remove this <laughs> I want to add it here not I don't want to cover the the ribbon so let me try to remove as much glue as possible okay there's going to be a, a bow here so it's not going to be too obvious so I'm going to go all around I'm showing you you this part but I'm going to finish this out of camera and I'll be right back okay I'm back I have placed all these tassels around the basket and 
<coughs> I'm going to finish it. As you can see, the strings are longer than the basket. I've already cut all this area and I'm going to cut the last ones. I'm al also adding this fake tassel here where the ribbon is the bow is going to be because it was impossible to uh, make the knot with this two uh, extremes. It was absolutely impossible. So we are going to do something that is not real but it's not going to be seen because it's going to be covered by the bow. So I'm going to add this loop, this fake tassel here and I'm going to cut the last strings to the size of the basket like I did with all the other ones as you can see it's something really easy you need a nice scissors a pair of scissors let's remove all this and now I am going to add this bow that I had already from another project so I'm going to add it here and that's going to be the last thing for this basket let's apply some pressure well, I think it needs more time but well anyways I want you to see how it looks so this is a Let's comb it a little bit. The basket finished. And I'm going to place all my old kitchen towels here. Like so. And now the basket looks much better and matches my farmhouse decor in my kitchen. It's going to be on top of my refrigerator. So I really like it. I'm going to show you exactly how it looks in a minute. So well, this is my piece for the useful channel challenge <laughs> this month. Hope you like it. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done it already and ring the bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Please visit the hostesses channels and the playlist. Thank you to both of them for hosting. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope to see you in my next video and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.